So I went to dinner at Le Bistro, which is the French restaurant, which is a la carte on the Norwegian breakaway. I did have the dinner package, so I decided to have that as one of the dinners for this cruise. I've gotten mixed reviews about this restaurant. Some people hate it, some people love it, some people thought it was okay. And so therefore, I'm going to give my honest review of this restaurant. So do, as you know that I do a rating of one to five and so let's get right to it. What did I think of the food for Le Bistro? So here it is. For the appetizer, I had the pan seared bay scallops, which came with this cauliflower sauce or broth and it had truffle oil and it did have tiny pieces of raw cauliflower. So on a scale of one to five, what did I think about it? The scallops were seasoned. The, the, the cauliflower like sauce or broth that came with it, it um, maybe just needed maybe just a touch of salt, but otherwise it was seasoned enough. The raw cauliflower really was there just as an afterthought to me it didn't really have any seasoning on it but obviously because it was had the sauce then you could dip it into the sauce and have it so as an appetizer to start you know being that the main part of the dish was the scallops I would give it a four out of five I thought it was a good appetizer wasn't the greatest but I thought it was a great way to start the meal it was very light it wasn't the biggest scallops I've ever had and so it was just smally, small morsels of scallops and so I gave it a four out of five now for soup and salad I decided to have the cream of mushroom soup now this cream of mushroom soup, I've never had anything like it. Usually when I have a cream of mushroom soup, the cream is actually like a white cream or the base of it or the broth would be like a white broth or cream. And so therefore, it was brown in nature as you can see from the picture. So they had bits of mushrooms in the plate and then they poured in the broth or the soup for the cream of mushroom soup. So, needless to say, it was very heavy in mushroom flavor. It was it was seasoned enough. I, I, I did a dash of salt and pepper. It wasn't that it was under seasoned, but I thought it just needed a little something to it. Because I was not used to those flavors, it wasn't horrible at all. It just wasn't something that I was used to, being that I'm used to another type of cream of mushroom soup. And so it was mushroom flavor. It was then a little earthy in flavor because of the mushroom. If you love mushroom, you will love this soup. If that's one of your things. I'm not a hate, I don't hate mushrooms. I don't love it. I'm indifferent to, to it. And so in this dish, I gave it a three out of five. Maybe some people would have loved it. Um, love mushrooms and just love the soup in general because it wasn't something that I was used to in the, the type of flavor of this type of soup. Um, I gave it a three out of five. So if you've had this, let me know. Maybe you do love it, but I'm I just gave it a three out of five because of that. Next for the main entree so I want to go different I didn't want to have chicken um, I wanted to have something different for the main entree or the main course and so I had the braised shank and roasted lamb chops with Moroccan spices dried fruit sweet potatoes and cilantro so I thought this dish was really good. I really thought this dish was good. I thought the pork chops re needed a little bit more flavor in it, but the beef or braised shank was really delicious. I really didn't have to add, do anything much to that beef braised shank. And so I love the purees of the sweet potatoes that was on the dish as well. I thought those were really flavorful. So in general, I thought that it was a good dish. It wasn't a great dish, but because I felt like the pork chops needed a little bit more flavor. And so I had to give it a four out of five because of this. I didn't mind that dish at all. Um, once again, 
you know, I guess French cuisine, the, the pork chops were not big at all. The braised shank was not big at all. Um, so it was small in terms of being an, an entree. Um, but I thought that the flavors were there um, enough to give it a four out of five. If the pork chops bumped up the flavor a little bit, um, with this composed dish and I thought that it could have probably even be better so that's why I gave it a four out of five and the dessert now for the dessert I had morones et clementines which is chestnut Bavarian cream citrus filling and a sables crunch now the the sables crunch what they talked about is at the bottom of it and it was just so hard to put your spoon through it like you really had to dig through it and the cream really didn't have any flavor to me it just it just f felt lacking it i know it was the cream it didn't have no flavor at all and i really could not finish the dessert it, it wasn't sweet the the crunch was just too crunchy to, to dig my spoon through it and i did not like it at all i really didn't care for it um, and the thing about it is I asked the waiter and he said this was a popular dish and so if this is a popular dish I'm just I was just very disappointed and so for this specific dessert I had to give it a one out of five it was not something that I would go and return to at all as a dessert um, in fact it would be some I would have to get something else off the menu if if I come back to a Norwegian and this and I go to Le Bistro again, I definitely would have to go try another dessert, but not this dessert. But overall, I thought the meal was good, not great, not horrible, like some people had said, based upon what I had. Um, it's French, so it's the, the, the portions are a little smaller um, than maybe other restaurants where you'd get bigger portions um, when you're eating appetizers and entrees. But overall, I thought the, the experience was good. I thought the ambience was good. The waiters were attentive. And so that was my experience from going to Le Bistro aboard Norwegian Breakaway. So let me know what you think. Um, have you been there before? If you've been there, what did you eat that was different from what I ate? And in the meantime, family, can you do me a favor? Can you like, comment, subscribe? Click on the notification bell to be informed of future posts. And until next time, happy travels.